Hallelujah. Mm, ah, God is so worthy. Hallelujah. Ah, yes, he is worthy of all the glory. Hallelujah. And he is worthy of all the honor. He is so worthy. Abba Shukoka, and he cares. So much <laughs> uh, about you, mankind. He cares so much about you. See, though there be some who does not acknowledge him. But he has a love for you. Hallelujah. He has a love for you. You see, you're, the love that he has for you is not as the love that he has for his bride and for those who do love him. But you must know that God Almighty, He does love you. But it is your behavior in which you do within your land which causes yourself to get in uh, the negative within the eyes of the Lord, you see. He is a just God. And it is true, as it was said, that God Almighty hates those who hate him and he loves those who love him. It is only fair that he hate those who hate him. For you see the hate that mankind has towards God Almighty is that of such a personal level, you see. For it is mankind which places blame on God Almighty for the things that have happened and is happening in their lives. Children, you must understand that there are generational curses, you see. Some all of you have curses that follow you from your generation, you see, because those of old did not repent from the things which they did, you see. They caused the doors and windows and gates to be open for the unclean to enter into their lives, you see. And there are many of your artists as you call them, artists, musicians, and others of other talents, you see. They have made uh, arrangements, you see. Arrangements, deals, and 
pledges, pledges with the unclean to help them continue with the thing in which they do best. You see, and when they open the doors for the unclean to come in, you see, that very unclean demon, devil, goblin, snake, serpent, insect, it could be anything, you see. For mankind knows not what they agree with, you see, when they do agree with the unclean, you see. Therefore, they make deals, they agree on a thing to receive a thing, you see. And that which they agreed upon, <laughs> they do receive, yes, but it is a trade For their souls and the souls of the generation that come from them, you see, they know not of that which they do, you see. They know not what they do. There is always a trading, you see. There is no love in <laughs> the Illuminati. There's no love in witchcraft. There's no love in darkness. You see, there's only trading which happens. This for that, you see. And the greed of mankind causes their eyes. To lust after those things which they see therefore they agree with the unclean to receive the thing in which they want. And once there has been an agreement, <laughs> then there are many gates. Ah, that are open, you see, unto the unclean, for them to touch, tamper, <laughs> and even kill members of their families, you see, because the initial agreement came. <laughs> And I will say to you that uh, um, they did not read the fine print. <laughs> uh, that which said that we will follow and curse your family for the next ten generations. And all of their Souls belong to the one in which they made the agreement with. You see, it's generational. When mankind make the foolish agreements that they do, see, they do not understand that it's affecting their whole generation. You see, they do not understand. They are so greedy and lustful. After the things they want right now, <laughs> that they do not see exactly what they are doing. Ah, but the unclean knows. He knows. 
you see, and it is his good pleasure to agree with you and to give you the simple things that you want. <laughs> it is very simple, you see, for them to offer you gifts, money, jewelry, and fame, and fortune. Is that all you want? <laughs> Certainly we can give you that. You see, mankind, what you do not understand is that the unclean bear gifts unto you as well. You see, for they understand the minds and the hearts of mankind. You see, you are a greedy, uh, 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 idolatrous uh, people, you see. You will uh, cause a thing to become an idol unto you. People, you see, your your personal uh, things, your money, your clothing, you see. You brag on those things as if others do not have them. <laughs> and you, you think within yourselves that you are doing better than another, but your soul have already been damned because you see you uh, as you say in your land shook hands with the devil that is what you say in your land <laughs> you trade this for that right now you see you all you want things right now. But as it's written in the letters, it says to wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength. But you won't do that. You know, you want something right now. So when some unclean, demonic individual Approaches you. Now understand this, mankind. I am not speaking of some foul, uh, 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 deformed uh, demon coming to you and making a deal with you. No, this is mankind. This is this is people as yourselves. You see, and you don't know anything about. That individual, you see, all you hear is that the individual is offering you fortune and fame and some right now stuff, as you say. And you want the stuff right now, you see. So you shake hands with that individual, not knowing who or whom or what. That individual is connected to you, see? So therefore you shake hands, you sign the papers. Some of you are even required to prick your fingers. Isn't that so? <laughs> Don't tell me I know. <laughs> you are even required to prick your finger and place it on the paper. <laughs> Blood for blood. <laughs> You're so ignorant, people. The things that mankind do, which in your land is it is not new. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> It is true, you know, as it is written in the letters. There really is nothing new under the sun. The little trickery, the games, and swapping that mankind do within the land is nothing new. They did that back in Sodom and Gomorrah. They did that in Pharaoh's days. <laughs> you should have been there. I was. <laughs> It was a sight to see, you know, and when God Almighty destroyed Sodom, let me tell you something about Sodom, you see. Sodom was not always the sinful daughter 
that she became, you see. For when God Almighty created the heavens and the earth and all the things therein, the uh, people, people began to gather themselves, you know, into the one place. And they began to build the cities up, you see. And in the beginning, all oh, what? Well, you see, she was not always a whore. <laughs> she became a whore, that Sodom. You know, that Sodom was not always a whore. But you see, that sister there, <laughs> I began to tinker around. You see, the men began to lose their affections toward the women. That's how this whole thing started. You see, with the men, the men lost their affections for the women, you see. And their affections turned towards each other, you see. For the things that you do in your lead right now, this is not new. <laughs> it's the same old sin with the same old demons doing the same old thing. And mankind thinks it's something new. Mankind, let me tell you something. It takes a very wicked, okay? One who has lost their mind, as you say in your land. It takes a a very wicked man, okay, to penetrate <laughs> another man in such a way. And do you know that the men in Sodom did the same thing to animals? Just as they do now in your land, they do the same. Dang, there's nothing new under the sun. Doesn't that make you want to vomit? <laughs> vomit. Doesn't it? I don't you know. Men are like dogs. Even after something has made them sick, they will go back and lick it up. <laughs> and you wonder why. You go to the pit. Don't wonder. Just see it plainly. You see? That is what you do. That is what you do. Your minds are warped. <laughs> that's that. That. That's. I like that word. I picked that up from mankind, which walk upon the land. They called each other Myers Warp. <laughs> and we figured out that it's got to me it's stupid or something, you see. So, <laughs> I agree that the mankind's mind is warped. The squad didn't teach us that word. We picked that up from the people that was walk your land. You say many words. <laughs> ah, you know, you say many words. We hear you. We don't pick up all of your things. No, no, that is not allowed. You see, but the mindset of mankind is warped. <laughs> You're stupid. And you don't, you can't stand correction. You see? You can't stand it. Can't stand correction. <laughs> And you wonder why you're going to end up in the pit. You know, the scribe of God may write about some of you. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you may die soon. I mean, you never know. Uh, mankind and the way which you are living now, it's, it's very possible that one day you're alive for the next day. You're dead. That's how wicked your land is. And when the scribe of God goes into the pit, she's being escorted, you know, by the Lord Jesus Christ. He says to call your master. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to escort the female scribe into the pit to write the testimonies of your loved ones. <laughs> Did y'all know that? 
You've got loved ones in the pit, burning, <laughs> being tortured day and night. <laughs> so if you don't even understand the pit, do you? <laughs> you know what? The mind of God, you know, is so broad. You, you don't understand that either. But when the female scribe is escorted into the pit to write the testimonies of your loved ones, <laughs> oh, well, and do know it's going to be at her uh, discretion on which the people that she communicates with because we did let her know that all of this is going to be uh, at her um, discretion. We would not tell her who uh, to communicate with. There's millions of them down there. Millions of your loved ones. They're in, they're, they're in the pit. <laughs> and the female scribe is going to go down there and she's going to communicate and gather her information, you know. And then she's going to write it in a book just as she writes things now in the book, you see. <laughs> The book will be available for all of mankind to read. <laughs> Do you know that it's even going to be available for the blind? Yes! It's going to be written in Braille even. <laughs> See, we need all of mankind to read about their loved ones that are in the pit. You see? And it's going to be written in Braille because that is the desire of the female scribe. You see, she brought that up to us, saying that she would like it to also be available in Braille. Not me. Uh, men uh, within your land uh, make their uh, readings um, available in such a way. The soul selfish. Do you not know that they do not consider the blind? <laughs> they don't consider the blind, but the blind are so dear to know, you see. So the female scribe has decided and brought up to us that when the books, the writing can and are being made public to mankind, of course, that she would like the book to also be available in Braille. <laughs> well, that's going to be a task. <laughs> well, I don't know. But that is her desire. So, hey, so be it. So be it. Whatever the scribe wants, the scribe is going to get. So, it's going to be quite exciting, you know. When this whole thing happens, she is a great preparation, you know. <laughs> she is in great preparation. Uh, the hearts of man will melt as they read the words in which the female scribe will make available upon paper for mankind. And it will be available in all languages. Oh, do know the nations will read of her words. And that is because also that is her desire also. You know, she has some things that she wants. We're going to give it to her, you okay? We're going to give the scribe what she wants. So, so. and do know that all of these things are going to be made available, you will see. Unto the female scribe. Now, mankind, I would like to say a few words. To you. My name uh, is Alex. Alex. No, not Alex. Alex. Uh, don't correct me. Alex. My name 
is Ellie. I abide here in the kingdom of God. I am one of his various servants, and it is my good pleasure to speak to the ears of you all. The female scribe has not encountered me in time past, you see. I was not part of her schooling in which she experienced while here in the kingdom of God Almighty. I was not a part of that, no, you see. But my name is Alec. And I have been sent for to share some words with you. Mankind, this is quite different for me, you see. Or the norm, I basically just relax all day. <laughs> yes, like you do in mankind. I, I, I relax all day, you know. <laughs> There's much to do here in the kingdom of God. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh, I like that word. I picked that up for mankind. Uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> so, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's much that I do here in the kingdom of God. And there's always a movement here in the kingdom. But when there's nothing to be done, I relax. You see. But I have been... Uh, summoned to um, speak to the ears of mankind through, of course, the female scribe, which is most humble. You all really should take heed to the words that come from the mouth of the female scribe. I mean, those words which are hers, you see, because we know that we, you, the vessel in many ways, but there are words to which she says on her own, you see, and you really should listen to the words that she says. You know, if you ever get the opportunity that is to hear her speak, conversate, not speak, I didn't mean speak, I apologize. You know, just come say it. You know, the chatting, the chatting that you all do. That you should, you should, you should listen. You know, <laughs> she, she's, she's quite, she's, she's got some information in her. You know, um, of course, it is from hanging around here in the kingdom. You know, she gangs a lot of. Understanding of things, you know. So, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I rely in the kingdom, you see. But God Almighty has summoned me to uh, share some words with mankind, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so. My name is Alex. Ah! My name is Alex. <laughs> and it is my good pleasure to speak to the ears of the hearers. And I give honor unto the female scribe. Greetings, scribe. How are you today? Um, I do hope that uh, I do, uh, I, I, uh, trust that all is well with you, scribe. We appreciate, okay, you here in the kingdom of God, and, uh, we, 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 we honor you, scribe. <laughs> Okay, so mankind, these are the words that I, Alec, have 
for you today. Uh, let's see. I must bring forward information uh, concerning the female scribe. Hmm. Ah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I understand now. I understand. Thank you. Thank you, God Almighty. I, <laughs> uh, you all must pardon me. I, <laughs> I get a bit distracted. You know, uh, God Almighty has instructed me to inform you all that the scribe of God will soon be traveling within your lands. Do you see? Yes, yes, that's what it was. The scribe of God, the female scribe, mm -hmm. the, uh, the female scribe will be traveling within your lands and uh, she uh, will be um, uh, moving about very swiftly. Uh, there will not be much uh, stay time uh, for her uh, case there will be not be there will not be much stay uh, time what am I trying to say uh you know staying in one spot okay that's the word uh, she will not have a uh, stay time uh, remain in one place okay and uh, her travels uh, will begin uh, abruptly. Oh, really? It's going to be abruptly? God Almighty, uh, why is there no agenda? Uh, I thought all of mankind need an agenda. No agenda? Okay, mankind, she's not going to have an agenda. Okay, uh, okay, this is new to me, uh, everyone. <laughs> uh, I don't do much, uh, uh, delivering of messages. <laughs> okay, so uh, she's going to travel, and it's going to be abrupt, and uh, she's not going to stay long. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> it's been good talking to you all, and uh, I will ask you. Uh, hmm? uh, yes, yes, I did. I, I said that. I, 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 I uh, okay, you all. Okay, uh, apparently. Apparently, I have left out some information. Okay, this is not something that I do, okay? Okay, this is not something that I do. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I will get it right this time. Can I have your attention, please? Uh, hello? Can I have your attention, please? Okay. The scroll. Okay, I, I got it this time. I got it. The scribe of God, the female scribe, journeys will begin, and she will not stay in one place very long. She will move about as uh, God Almighty instructs her to. Oh, and she doesn't like to travel, so uh, this is going to be absolutely against her will. She's not a traveler. Uh, I believe uh, it was Alex. No, no, no. Who was it? Felix. <laughs> it was Felix who uh, told you all that. She doesn't like to travel. She, you know, she's never been anywhere. Do you know that? Oh, she has a passport, too. She hasn't used it. Uh, okay, okay. I'm not supposed to be saying all that. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, I think I, uh, okay, the scribe is, is going to travel, I said that part already, um, she's going to what, she's going to, oh, she's going to travel soon, um, excuse me, y'all, I, hold on, uh, I'm not sure, what am I, supposed to be saying. Uh, okay. She's going to be traveling soon and uh, 
that is all. Thank you for your listening. Thank you for your time. Uh, God is faithful. And that is all. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Thank you for your time. Uh, This is not something that I do. Okay? Uh, Okay, I begged. Okay, I requested from the Father that I be allowed to speak. (laughs) So, I think I did relatively well to inform you of the scribe. I think I did well. The rest of this crew here doesn't think that I did a very good job. Have you ever been laughed at? Okay? Have you ever been laughed at when others don't think that you've done a good job? But you think? I think I did a relatively good job here to express the travel of the female scribe. I did not go off like Felix did. Okay, he began to tell you all of her business. I'm not telling you that she has a passport that she's never used. I didn't spill the beans on that one. That was ah, Felix. This is not something that I desire to do. I mean, someone else really should have done it. Okay. I don't have any more words, but I don't mind just talking with you all. Uh, my name is Alec, okay? I abide here in the kingdom of God. Uh, no, I'm no one special, as some of you would say. In your land, though everyone, 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 everyone here in the kingdom of God is special. We are, you know. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind being one that does not do much. I don't mind. Uh, Oh, no, I'm not chatty. No, not like Felix is. Oh, no. But, I guess that is uh, the word you guys say. It's not here and it's not there. Hmm? Is that not the way? What? Okay, it's neither there nor there. Uh, Neither nor, it's not, it's not, it's, what is it? How are you saying it? It's, it's, nor, it's, neither, it's, it's neither here nor there. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so and that's all I got. Uh, did I? Did I? Was I supposed to uh, say some more things? Okay, I think that's all I got. Uh, God Almighty, we give you the praise. Uh, you're worthy. Uh, you're worthy. Uh, Jesus is Lord, of course. Do you all know that he has been crowned king? <laughs> yes. Yes. And he's soon to return for his bride. <laughs> now, that's something that I can talk to you about. I know a lot about that you will see there's a buzz going around oh, the bride you know uh, there's a number there's 400,000 thousand bride mm-hmm. I hear the buzz <laughs> oh there was much that goes on here mm-hmm. we should talk uh, I, I, I would like to talk to you all I don't mind. It's no secret that there's preparation for the bride. There is no secret. I mean, who can keep a secret like that anyway? Just... 
Okay, so uh, I have shared the information with you. I apologize for the side whispers. I just wasn't getting all of this information straight. I guess, I guess you can understand now why God Almighty doesn't allow me to speak very much. But I don't mind. Um, I would rather relax. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, Alec, and uh, I I give glory and honor unto the most high God, the one true and living God. Do you know that there is? No other God besides the God in which we serve? Did you know that? Oh, I I did hear that there are many in your land which serve other little gods. Don't you make them out of clay or something? What are they? I I, I hear that some of them can be broken. (laughs) If you drop them, that's your God? If you drop them, they're breaking? What do you use? To stick them back together. What do you have? Uh, I mean, if he's broken, <laughs> uh, does he fall off the shelf or something? How do you have a guy that can break? <laughs> oh, well. I guess that's why. You all are called ignorant, I believe. Ignorant. Mm. Well, I guess I have said enough. I hope you guys don't break all of your gods. Yeah, they, it's, it's, it's really... Uh, oh, and I hear uh, that some of you do the, uh, the animals. That that's the gods. You have to clean up after them, right? The dung? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess if that's working for you. <laughs> uh, well, ignorant. <laughs> no, no, no understanding. No, no wisdom. Nothing, huh? It, it, it doesn't ring a bell to you that something is wrong with that. Okay. Um, uh, I have no more, no more.